Do you know why Beethoven was deaf? Because when Beethoven was around, there was no such thing as Melodia. If Beethoven had had Melodia, he wouldn't have gone deaf. So Melodia is great, but you're a few hundred years too late. One of the things that I found very difficult, I went to some of the so-called best music schools in the world. And actually, to be honest, I always thought that I would be kicked out. Like I, w I went to the Yehudi Menuhin school, this sort of very elitist Harry Potter-like school. Uh, no magic, though. But, um, and I always felt I would be kicked out because there were people around me that could just write down operas and piano. You just played something, and they just wrote it down. And four-part madness, and they could just write it out perfectly. I don't have absolute pitch, and actually I think absolute pitch is a, is a hindrance. And the great thing about Melodia is whether you are a musician and you want to be a musician, or whether you just want to have some kind of access to music. You just like music and you want to have, you want to feel it more. You want to have more of a knowledge about it. Melodia is like a Swiss army penknife. You have every single tool for every single problem. And you can, with those tools, you just basically become not only a better musician, but you feel more because you start to understand how music is made. And you don't need to be a genius. You just have to, and it's a game. That's what I love about Melodia. It's a game. And that's what music should be. Music should be a game. Whether you only stay on level one of Melodia or whether you make it to the advanced level is not the point. I think anything like Melodia, anything like that, that encourages you to be creative, that inspires you to be creative. Coming to an Igurus Man and Jew show, great. I mean, it's good for us that you're there. But if that is the thing that inspires you to go and be creative, great. Then we've done something that might make a difference. Music is not a rigid thing. It's something that's flowing. And that's also where I take my hats off to Melodia, is that it's not a program where you feel extremely pressured to learn something. Melodia invites you to listen, just to a note, to two notes, to listen, to take the time to listen. We're so busy today in this world of fast-paced and no attention span, to just do things quickly. But Melodia invites you to listen. And that if we had more music, we'd have less dissonance and more harmony. And that is where something where Igurus Manju and me as a composer, uh, we share a lot of kindred spiritdom with Melodia. I've seen kids as young as five and six playing Melodia. And they have no idea what it is, but they're having fun and they're free of any rules. There's one of the things I love is that there, there's very few instructions. There are very few rules. That's the great thing about Melodia, that you can be a beginner. You don't have to read music. That's the thing that sometimes people are afraid of is, oh, but I can't read music. But you don't have to. And to have something that's a game, that's musical, that's fun, that's non-pressure, that the, all the family can do together, uh, I think is another way, another brilliant way of bringing music to the home and at the same time having educational value without someone there with a hammer going, and now you're going to learn something. So, um, yeah, kids, go get Melodia. If I had to choose three words to describe Melodia, it would be inspirational, playful, and indispensable.